Welcome back to Dax for Humans. My name is Greg Deckler, and in this episode, I will be taking you through a brief tour of Power BI Desktop and entering some data. Since uh, data is so important to, uh, to Power BI, we probably should create some. Okay, so you should have Power BI Desktop open already if you watched the last video. If not, it should be pinned to your taskbar. So at this time, you can just go ahead and click it in your taskbar. You can also find it by using the search for Windows. You can Click that and type in Power BI Desktop right there, and it'll show up as an app. Now, you may get a splash screen that appears. You can go ahead and dismiss that, and you should be sitting at a page that looks very similar to this. So, brief tour of Power BI Desktop. Up here in the uh, at the top, you have your what's called the ribbon, and this provides very similar functionality to all of your other Office applications that you might use. In the center, this big portion is your canvas, and that's where you'll be creating visuals, and we'll do that in the next video. Then over on the right side of the screen, you have these flyout menus. So, and you don't need to worry about them for right now, but you have a fields menu, a visualizations, and a filters. And then on the left side of the screen, you have three different views, if you will. So you have a report view, a data view, and then a model view. And we'll cover all that in later videos. Then down at the bottom of the page, or the screen, you'll have tabs, which are your pages. So you can have multiple report pages within one Power BI report. Okay, so let's go ahead and get some data so that we can enter some data. So we have something to work with in later videos. So to do that, you want to make sure that you're on the Home tab of your ribbon. And then you can just click this Enter Data button right here. And once you click that, it'll bring up a little window here. And we can start just start typing uh, our data in. And so for this case, I'm going to double click in the column header and I'm going to type item. And then we're going to just start entering items like pickle, banana, pickle, banana, and maybe grapefruit. And don't worry, you can always pause the video and, uh, and you know if you can't type as fast as I'm typing. And now we're going to add some columns to this. So I'm going to click this little plus icon here. And I can then double click and I will type in price or the name of our column. And I'll say, let's see, pickles will say are $3.99, bananas are $2.99, $3.99, $2.99, so we'll say $4.99 for a grapefruit. We're going to click this button again to insert another column. And this time we're going to name this column quantity. Okay, and this time we'll say there's two, three, four, five, and then uh, we'll say three. We're going to add one last column. That column we're going to call date. And we'll say this was 1, 2, 2023, 1, 2, 2023, 1, 10, 2023, 1, 11, 2023, and we'll say 1, 14, 2023. Okay, so now once you've created your data, and then as you can see, it's going to name this data table table. That's fine. We can keep that for now. All we have to do at this point is hit load. And Power BI is going to think for a little bit. It's going to load the data up. It's added five rows. And we'll see that appear over in our fields pane. So we now we have a table called table. And we can expand that, and we see our columns here, date, item, price, and quantity. And these are sorted alpha, alphabetically. Now, you should notice that this has these have different icons. So the item has no icon next to it. It's a text field. And then we have our date column. It actually has a little calendar icon here, and that is a that signifies that it's a date column. And its data type is date. And then for our price and quantity, then these are numeric fields, and they are noted by the sigma icon. Now, don't worry if, uh, if yours didn't auto-recognize uh, your column types, because all you have to do is if you click on date and you don't have this icon here, it'll activate the column tools ribbon tab, and you can just change the data type over here to be date. And the same goes for item. You can make sure that it's text, and for price, it should be a decimal number, and then for quantity, it should be a whole number. Now, you can actually see the data that's in the data model, by clicking on the data tab and you'll see here I have my the data that I entered 
And the format's a little different in terms of it's using kind of a long date format, but I'll show you how to change that in later videos. And then the last thing that I want to show you is if I go back to the homepage, there's a lot going on behind the scenes that Power BI does for you. So if let's say you made a mistake entering your data or something like that, you can always go to the Home tab of the ribbon, click on Transform Data, and that will bring up what's called the Power Query Editor. And the Power Query Editor, as you can see, here's my table, and I've got a couple steps over here as applied steps. And these are automatically applied every time you refresh the, your data or load your data up. So if you need to change your data because you made a mistake, you can click on the source step, you can click on the gear icon, and it'll bring up that same editing window where you can change your data if you made a mistake. You should also note that when I click on the source step, you see that all of these are text signified by this ABC icon, but it automatically applied a change type step so that now this is a text field, this is a decimal 1.2 icon, this is a whole number, the 123 icon, and this is a date signified by the little date table. Now, one last thing, and you don't have to worry about this, but I do want to show you this. If you click on what's called the Advanced Editor from the Home tab of the ribbon, you'll see that there's actually code being written behind the scenes in order to enter all of this data and do all the different transformation of the data. So as you can see, I have my source line, my source step that corresponds to my source step. I have my change type step that corresp corresponds to my chain type step. And that data that we entered is actually entered in uh, its compressed code. It's this big long string of numbers and, and letters. This, so, But again, you don't have to worry about any of that for right now. I just wanted to show you behind the scenes what's going on when you do th certain things within Power BI. Uh, all of the nice automation that it does for you, it makes it, making it very easy for you to enter your data, get your data, from multiple different sources. One last thing before we go, let's go ahead and save our file. So I'm going to choose File and then Save. And I'll call this Episode 3. You can save your file wherever you want, but let's uh, make sure you save it so that we can use it for uh, the next video. That's all for this video. In the next video, I'll be showing you how to actually create visualizations um, using the data that we've entered.